What's up guys, Piemonte89 here. Uh, I'm making my second video tonight. I actually might make one more um, on a different subject altogether. But, um, I'm, I'm recording this on the same night that I recorded the other video talking about uh, debating with an anti-gunner. Now I'm going to talk to you about a guy who is from a pro-gunner family. He's not exactly a, a pro-gunner. He's not an anti-gunner. His father's in the NRA. Um, and, and I consider him a friend. Okay, He's a friend of mine. And, and I respect him, um, you know, as a friend, as a man. Uh, I respect his opinion, but I very much disagree with it, okay? And another friend of mine uh, butted in on the conversation and kind of agreed with him and then, you know, started his own little rant. But um, we're talking about uh, assault weapons, okay? Um, uh, fully automatic assault weapons. That's what we're talking about here. Um, now, I, I don't think he understood this. And, uh, and if, if he sees this video, I mean, I, I mean no offense at all. Um, so when I'm, when I'm talking about you, just bear with me here. Okay, so we're talking about, you know, that stuff. Uh, uh, soul weapons. Okay, so let's start here. Okay, so pretty much we, we were discussing after work, we were talking, and uh, brought up the subject of guns. You know, just how it is. Uh, we brought up several other things, too, including the um, uh, us going into Libya. Um, and all that stuff, which, which of course, I don't agree with that either. That was illegal because, you know, not all Congress was present, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to get into that at all. Uh, I try to keep my politics to the guns. Um, so, anyway. Um, so, we, so, we're talking about guns and stuff, and, he, and he's saying, you know, I, I, I agree with us having guns, but only to an extent. And I said, okay, well, what do you mean by that? He's like, they need to get rid of assault weapons. I said, okay. I said, civilians don't really have assault weapons. He's like, they have them, and uh, they can get them. I said, um, certain people can get them, but it's not easy. It's expensive, and you have to go through certain things, procedures to get it. When it comes to assault weapons, it's may issue only. It's not a shall issue. Okay, I don't think everybody can get an assault weapon. At least from what I understand. So you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I know it's definitely going to be different state by state. I said, you know, it doesn't really matter what kind of gun you have. If someone's going to do something bad, whether it's with a gun or whatever, they'll find a way to do it. He agreed with me on that. Um, but he's like, he said he was saying you know, AK-47s and ARs and stuff, you know, they shouldn't have them. There's no point to them. And I said, there's a, there's a really good point to them. I can't remember what YouTube channel it was that brought this up before. And it was rather recently. I would say it happened within the last month. I'm a little off my time frame sometimes. So... One to two months ago at most. And they were talking about um, the reason why they want an AK-47 or um, an AR is for the range. Okay? And he said, nah, you don't need that. And, and he also said that his father has a sidearm that he uses just for the range. Seems like a double standard, man. Um, he didn't need that gun, I guess, because he just wanted it for the range. Just like I don't need an AK-47 because I want it just for the range. All right, and, and don't say that it's different because, you know, one's an AK variant and one's a sidearm. It makes no difference. I said, you ever heard of Dave Berkowitz? And he said, no. I said, it's the son of Sam. He's like, oh, yeah, 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 I heard of son of Sam. Okay, he went around with a five-shot revolver, 44 Special, and he did a lot of killings with it. And, and he said that he had, a, you know, his dad had a lot of uh, hunting rifles. I said, okay, well, give me a 308, put me 200, 300 yards away. Um, let me get good with that gun, and uh, if I have a target, somebody I don't like, I can go out and go kill them. I can go kill a bunch of people with a with a five shot capacity bolt action rifle. Yeah, I could also go and gather gunpowder or, or whatever, and make bombs and blow people up. Yeah, just like the skinhead did, the Unabomber and all that. Okay, they could. We people have the potential to do that. And just because you get rid of them on a civilian level does not mean that they cannot get it illegally because it happens all the time. And a lot of people are getting the gunpowder illegally. Most of them that are doing all this bad stuff are. Okay, because a lot of places don't allow you to buy more than a certain amount now. So in order to gather up all that, you know, gunpowder, they do it illegally. And they can smuggle it and get it. So, you know, that that right there is just a, you know, you can't, you can't really label and say, okay, well, we don't want... Uh, assault weapons, okay, I said, I could go out tomorrow, I said, I can get a Glock 17, 
if I wanted to right now, if I was a if I was a psychotic person, because this happens, reference Virginia Tech incident. Okay, God bless all the people that died in that tragic event. I get some Glock 17s, get some 30 round magazines. I said, I clear X amount of dollars this week. In two weeks, I could have, if I didn't want to spend on anything else, if I just wanted to do something evil, I didn't care. I could get a Glock 17 and a couple of 30 round magazines and ammunition. Go out there with hollow points or full metal jackets, whatever, and just go on a mass killing spree, and I could do it. Uh, just like anybody else could do it. Okay, all, all you got to do is, is pull that trigger, okay? And, and it takes a psycho to do something like that. An absolutely insane person. But it can be done. The same thing can happen with not a gun, but let's try a bow and arrow. Okay? Y'all could hide out in a tree, in the park. Pew, pew, pew. I said to him, I said, I'd rather be shot with a bullet than have a giant wooden splinter or aluminum splinter going into me and dying slowly. You're not going to move either way. You're pretty much dead. Okay, gets you in the heart, you're dead. It gets you wherever. But it's going to be a lot worse that way than just getting shot, okay? Um, I said the same thing about another video talking about the rock. You know, you just hide out in the bush, you just kill somebody with a rock. A basic, basic weapon. Makes your weapon provided by Mother Nature. Okay, anything can be a weapon. I could take a steak knife, go outside, take a branch, sharpen it up, and I got a wooden steak. Okay, I stab somebody in the throat with that. You know, it, people do that stuff. Okay, it happens. You're not going to get rid of all the violence in the world. And so now you're talking about getting rid of, of uh, AK, AK-47s and AR-15s as if that's going to resolve anything. Again, reference my last video. I talked about this. All you're going to do is disarm the good citizens, the responsible citizens, okay? Because anybody can get a gun. But the responsible citizens are not going to go out there and buy the guns illegally, okay? So you separate the good from the bad there. But now you just made the good people all disarmed, okay? They're disarmed. They can't do anything. Um, and he brings up, yeah, well, you don't need an AK-47 or an AR-15 to, uh, to uh, protect yourself. And that's absolutely true. You are 100% correct, sir. Um, but here's the thing. You start at the assault weapons, the black guns, and where do you end up? I said, look at the UK. I pulled a little, a little knife out of my pocket. A very small, the, uh, the bird finch. Okay, like a two-inch blade on it. I said, this knife is illegal to carry in the UK. Did you know that? No. Did you know that they can't have a locking blade? Because it's considered, it's illegal, it's considered a deadly weapon. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, he said. Okay, you don't know that. All right, well, now think about this for a second. They started at getting rid of guns, and they ended up with pretty much nothing but little uh, blades that you could use that don't lock, so they're not good for self-defense. So pretty much what you do is you take away anything that you have to defend yourself, okay? Now, you, you do that. There's a lot of things you got to worry about, okay? You live in snake country. You got rid of maybe a little Taurus Judge or something. That, that was your snake gun. You went out there, if you got a, saw a rattlesnake coming you know, close to you or something, you could have shot that. Now you got to worry about getting bit every time you go outside. You have, you have cougars and stuff like that, uh, mountain lions out west. Maybe that 357 Magnum on your side would have saved your ass. Now you're getting mauled to death. Okay? <laughs> Those are some rare cases. You guys probably didn't even think about that, did you? You always think about... Somebody robbing you or something. But hey, you know, out, out in the country, man, you got to worry about a lot of other things too. Bears, you know, mountain lions, poisonous snakes, venomous snakes, all that stuff too. So guns, guns are good for a lot of things, okay? They're good for being just having fun at the range. You know, I, I think that guns are a stress reliever. You know, when I go out to the range, I'm not thinking about shooting somebody. I'm thinking about making my group real tight. I've, I've, I've established I have this goal today. I want to go up to 25 yards with a handgun and make a two-inch group. So I'm just concentrating on that. I'm just thinking about that. I'm not thinking about everything else that goes on in my life that's so messed up or whatever. It's a stress reliever. Okay? It's fun. You take your friends out. You take your family out. You have a good time. Um, not everybody wants to sit in a movie theater all day. You know, I, not everybody wants to go and play a video game all day. I want to get out there and do something. And sometimes I want to get out there and shoot a gun. So, you know, you take away... A fun factor for a lot of people. Uh, hunting, 
Did you know that a lot of people need to eat wild meat because they have diabetes and stuff? My grandmother was one of those people. She had to eat uh, uh, wild meat because she was allergic to uh, insulin at the time. Uh, this is back, I guess, in the 50s, 60s, and 70s before it's, the insulin was as good as it was today. But even still, I just know that she needed that, uh, the game, the meat, uh, to survive. Or not to survive, but it, it helped her a lot. Okay, and, and there are special places that donate wild game uh, meat to help people with diabetes and stuff like that. You can find them. Okay, and some people just would rather, by choice, go out there and hunt their own food. Um, some people would say, well, that's just weird. I don't, you know, I don't, they don't need to do that. You're right, they don't need to do that, but that's their way of life. Okay, you can't tread on somebody else's way of life because you don't see it as being right. Whatever, okay? And I said this to him, and he agreed with me on this. I said, getting rid of guns is the equivalent of getting rid of every mosque. Okay? What? What? Huh? How's that? How's that, Pete Monty? Well, well, it's, it's pretty simple, actually, guys. It's pretty simple. You see, you could say that every gun owner is a whack job going to go out there and kill everybody. You could also say... That every Muslim is an extremist that's secretly a terrorist and wants to go out and blow everybody up. You can say the same thing about Catholics. Um, all want to start another crusade, so you got to get rid of all the Catholic churches. Okay? You should get rid of all the McDonald's too while you're at it. You know how many heart attacks happen each year because of McDonald's? Come on, man. It doesn't happen from McDonald's. It happens from the people putting it in their damn mouth. Okay? There are some extremists out there. There's not every Muslim is an extremist. I have friends that are Muslim, okay? And they are very good people. But get the shirts off their back to you. I'll tell you that right now. Fix your car for you for free, whatever, okay? I have friends like that, and they're Muslim. Ain't nothing wrong with a Muslim. I said Catholic because three-quarters of my family are Catholic. So me saying it, you know, I, I could say it. So there's nothing wrong with, with owning these guns, or guns in general. There's so many great things, positive things, to gun ownership. And virtually, no, nothing bad. Okay? There are no real cons to having people being able to own guns. You have the whack jobs out there. They ruin it for everybody. Okay? You don't see us going out there uh, because of 9-11... And assuming all of a sudden that every Muslim is, is part of this, you know, uh, uh, attack on America. Give me a break, okay? Um, so, and, and so what happens is when you're attacking these assault weapons, you're just scratching the surface. And what they're going to do, what, this is the problem with not only the government, but with most of society. You give an inch, they take a mile, okay? But with the government... It's like a thousand miles. They're going to start with that assault weapon. Assault weapon. Because it's not really an assault weapon. Okay? The military has assault weapons. Most civilians do not. There are some that do very, very few. Probably a half a percent of gun owners, literally. Okay? Um, so, you know, they start with that, and then you end up like the UK. No offense to anybody in the UK. Okay, I love you guys over there. I really do. I think you guys have a fantastic culture. Okay, I do a lot of history. Okay, I love the English culture. I love the Scottish culture. I love the Welsh culture. I love the, the Irish culture. And yes, they're all different. And I acknowledge that. I'm not a stereotype. You know, I, every, every, you know, every nation has a very uh, unique history. And I find it intriguing. Okay, so I don't hate on anybody. But... Your, no offense, guys, your laws are messed up. None of my business as an American citizen to be saying that. But I would like you guys to be more free. Okay? In my heart. As, as a man who considers himself a man of God. Okay? I would like to see my brothers and sisters overseas free. Instead of being oppressed by government. Just how I say it. So, there you go, guys. I'm out of here. So, you know... This, this whole thing with assault weapons ban, it's ridiculous, okay? It will not solve a damn thing. Like I said in the last video, it's just going to make us as a nation weaker, the individual citizen weaker and more susceptible to bad things, bad things happening to them. So with that said, 
Piedmont 89 out. Remember, anti-gun is anti-American. Peace out.